Hello friends, in this uh, video what I will be doing is, I will be demonstrating you the use of pointers. Now let's say you want to swap two numbers, that is if A is 5 and B is 6, then after the program is executed, A should become 6 and B 5. Now if you want to do this, there is a very simple thing that <coughs> you take one intermediate variable k and supply uh, the value of a to this. That means now you assign a value of a to k and then you assign the value of b to a and finally the value of k is assigned to b. So how this work? Initially k will be having here what will happen k will be equal to 5 then here, as A's value has already been transferred to 5, uh, sorry, K, so there's no problem. We can now assign the value of B to A. So what is the value of B? It is 6. And then the value of K will be assigning to B. So B will now be holding the value of K, that is 5. So in this way, the <coughs> original value 5, 6 has now been swapped to 6, 5. So, <clears throat> if I want to uh, write a function for this, which can do this, requires the pointers. Why? Let me show this to you. So, let us uh, write a function and uh, let's say uh, void and uh, why void? Because the function will only be swapping the values of a and b, nothing else. So, it will be taking some a and then b and then you will be taking some integer k and then k you will be assigning the value of a, a you will be assigning the value of b and b you will be assigning the value of k. That's it. Okay. Now, what has happened? If you want to see what has happened, so let's let's uh, say int a and or x let's say it is 4 and y let's say it is uh, 5 and you want to swap so let us name this function as swap as wap oh as wap so as wap so this is capital s as wap and a comma b sorry not a comma b the variables are x and y so now if you think that you can perform the task of uh, swapping in this way then it is not possible you know why let me show this to you <coughs> so x is equal to percentage d and y is equal to percentage d and that is before the function so let's say before okay and then print the same thing after you call this function so this is after and if you run this you oh what mistake acha new line so what you can see before the value of x was 4 and now y was 5 and now after we have called the function x is still 4, y is still 5. So there has been no change in the value of function in the value of x and y. Then what this function is doing? Why it is not taking x and y? So this is what we call as call by value. So here we transfer the values to a function. Okay. So here what will happen? The x and y's are not transferring basically. What is being transferred is the value is being copied here. So the value of x is 4, so 4 will be copied here. The value of y is 5, so 5 will be copied here. And that's it. The copies of these x and y will, will go, go to the, the function, function and it will be doing something. And that's, that's it. it. So it will not do anything. So how to make a function which can, uh, which can work like this? That means we can swap the values. So in the program, if you do this, that is very much possible. You can do it without any problem. 
but now if you want to write a function which can permanently change so in that case what you have to do you have to pass the addresses of x and y then only it will be changed. So once you pass the addresses of x and y to the function, then will it work? No, because a and b should be in a position to hold the addresses. Who can hold the address? Pointer. So these should be pointer variables. So the, in the argument, you should be having pointer. So if you are passing the addresses of certain variables to a function, then in the function, those arguments which are which are now taking these addresses should be pointer. This is clear to you now. Now here, k is an intermediate variable and a is a pointer. So k is equal to a doesn't mean anything because a is holding the address. But what I want is the value at the location of this. That means at the location where a is pointing. So a is pointing to x. So I want the value. How to do it? Derefer it. So a assigned the value where the pointer a is pointing. Likewise, you will be doing what? The, this one, star and then star. So what does this mean? This means transferring the value of the location where b is pointing to the location where a is pointing. Okay. And then you will be transferring k to the memory location where b is pointing. So now if you run this program, you will be able to see that you have swapped x and y's values. So therefore, the, the, the pointers are very, very, very efficient in this type of tasks. Once again, wherever, whenever you want to pass the addresses or whenever you want to do something at the variable level via some function, then you have to use pointer. So as you want to do something at this particular memory location, so you have to pass the address. Okay, you have passed the addresses of x and y's. Then who are capable of holding the address? The pointer. So you have made pointers in as the arguments of this particular function. Then inside the function as what you want to do, you want to work at the value level, not at the address. You want to work at the value. So what is stored there? 4. So at that point you have to go. So that has to be dereferred. So all remember this particular logic. So in this video, I have, I have explained you that how to swap values using pointers. Or in broader sense, I have told you that how to develop function which are capable of uh, holding the addresses. Okay. So in this video till this point only, thank you very much for watching it.